Hi again, Mike here. I want you to talk today a little bit about teaching everything that you know. So I've been doing online things since about 2011. So there's a lot of things that I've learned in the past, well, 11 years now about how to come up with ideas, how to share those ideas, places to look where for inspiration. You might not really know where to start with your idea and just how you go about choosing that right idea. So there's plenty of ideas that you could do from getting started. So there's a YouTube channel just like this one. You could start a YouTube channel to share Maybe it could be how do you play the guitar, how do you play the recorder. I mean, we've all done three blind mice at school, but like, what can you do further on than that? Like, you see all sorts of videos of people being like amazing with different instruments. So, uh, is that your skill? Can you teach that to other people? And even if it's just sharing maybe like an interesting podcast that you listen to or an article that you followed and thought, you know what, this resonates with me, there's things that I could get out of this that I could explain a bit better, that I could maybe just write about how this particular piece of content changed my path. So that's a little bit like what happened with me. So when I first started, uh, I was writing ebooks and I was thinking, okay, how do I get these ebooks to a bigger audience? And then I started finding problems and issues with Amazon at the time and just not knowing how much to charge for my ebooks that I did write and so then on the back of that I came up with an idea of let's make a website where people can essentially pay what they want for your ebooks but have a minimum price that the author wouldn't go below so pay what you want people might just pay a cent and um, but that wouldn't cover the time and the effort that the author put into the book so there's only a little bit of um, flexibility there so that was one of my first ideas that I came up with and that failed spectacularly it was and I'll go into that in another video and then just sort of like how do you go from there so I was trying to learn about online businesses online like how like how would I go about doing this full time and that's when I found um, convert kit at the time with Nathan Barry and he was very much we should teach everything that we know because it may be obvious to you or it may be like completely alien to you and if you're sharing what you know as you go along so we've got this idea I'm going to write a blog post about every stage of the journey and then if somebody comes along in a couple of years and has the same idea to do their own thing then they can look at what you've done and follow along and hopefully it will change their life in the way that convert kits change Nathan's so there's a lot of things that you can do there in just reading other people's stories and that's only possible if people are willing to get that content out there and share their views and share their areas of experience so it doesn't necessarily have to be expertise so a lot of areas that I'll be talking about in these videos and on my website are areas that I'm not an expert in but I'm trying to get better so YouTube videos this is my second YouTube video and I'm sure there's things I can do better that I'll improve over time through just getting my face out there and talking to a camera and just other areas like where what else could I teach people so I can chronicle my journey through starting a YouTube channel and trying to get that content out there for people to watch and people to take on board. And then there's other areas like how do you come up with an idea? How do you start working on that idea? How do you grow that idea? And then like how did I feel when I first started, when I made my first dollar online? It was like, wow, like it's, it really is very different than the traditional way that you would be working and so working online is completely different and then just some of the even some of the films that I watched that really you, you wouldn't think they'd be entrepreneurial films but they are they do have stories and themes behind them that I, I'm more of a I like to watch things and absorb content on YouTube and 
maybe read a few books. I'm very more video and like audio type of person rather than reading. Um, mainly because I struggle a little bit with small text, but generally it's getting that content out there. So having YouTube videos to follow along with, even if you've got a blog post of a similar vein, then people can just pop their headphones in, listen, watch, and not have to worry too much about reading all the words and making all the notes. So there's a ton of areas that hopefully that I can teach what I know and what I've learned over the past 10 years just doing this. And there's a lot of areas. So ideas was one of them. And growing your audience. So as I record this, I've got about 15 subscribers and that's from a accidental upload to a couple of this channel from a different business. So with just one video with about three or four views and zero subscribers, I'm essentially starting from zero. So how do you get from zero to that first new subscriber? And then how do you go from there? So whether it's a YouTube channel, whether it's your website newsletter, so again, that's a one subscriber and that's me. So there's a lot of things there that, like, how do you measure that your, to the content you're creating is actually resonating with people? Is it useful? Should you tweak it a little bit? Or are you just writing to yourself? Is it just an exercise? Are you just practicing on YouTube? And it's probably a bit of both. So again, I've got no hidden agendas with this video. I've got no hidden agendas with the website. I just want to start getting content out, start getting used to just making videos and hopefully if they're helpful to you then hit that subscribe button and hit the little notification bell and then in the next videos then maybe you might see a little bit of improvement in the way I'm shooting them or and my storytelling might get a little bit better or just generally I just want to start getting the content out there so building your audience, growing your audience and then just things that have happened to me personally so for example my side business got acquired and I'm now working at Automatic so there's a ton of things there that if you're in a similar position it doesn't necessarily have to be automatic but if you're in a situation where someone wants to buy your business from you including yourself as and keep on working on it then how does that how does that work how do you how do you approach that situation who do you talk to who do you how do you know like intentions are good from both sides so again so a lot of that is down to the company that's expressing interest and whether it's the right fit. So there's a lot of things there. Mm -hmm. And big, big disclaimer that I won't be sharing any figures around like purchase price or multiples, but the process of going about it, like is your business in the right shape to be acquired for one? Like are your processes, are your finances in check? Are you managing things the way that you should be. Now you might have a good product, but it might be, the basement might be flooded. If you're down the line, if that's something you're thinking about, then it's making sure that all of your processes and practices are in a good position. So there's a ton of area there that I could talk about. And then even just the other, the other things like, so growing your business, ideas, and just like, how do you get ideas for content as well? So like, how do I, manage to produce these videos, how do I also do that while managing a team working on a CRM and also I've got a two year old toddler so how do I balance work and family life and just keeping myself in like good shape, I say good shape, I'm not in the best shape but just a way that I can keep doing what I'm doing, so how to get the motivation, how do I keep productive, how do I manage my time, there's a ton of areas there that it might be different than your typical productivity posts that you might see and just generally remote work as well, like as the world shifted to more people working online and working from home, how do you go about doing that? I've been doing this since 2016 full time, working from home without any commute to any office. So way before the pandemic and way before it was forced upon a lot of people. There's a lot of things that you can do that you may not be doing because you think it's temporary, but if you can get set up in a good environment with the right equipment and most importantly, look after, look after yourself. There's a lot of things there that you could do and do maybe slightly differently than you would do if you were just working from dining room table or 
on the end of the bed or just things that you may be doing just because it's temporary. So again, hopefully there's a ton of areas that I can share just my take on it. It might not be the right thing, but it's just my view and my thoughts and hopefully if you like it, then do follow along and I hope to see you in a future video. So again, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that little notification bell. So again, thank you for the time you're watching and here's to many more videos.